Hi, I'm Dell, and I'm a medical cannabis activist in North Dakota. I have been since 2006. Today I want to talk about self-medication for beginners. Self-medication is one of the most important aspects to cannabis because once you take a pill, it doesn't matter what they give you, what they prescribe you at the doctor, once you take a pill, you're in for the ride, regardless of how that pill affects you. You're in for the ride for probably four hours at least. Cannabis, on the other hand, if you start slow, and you can, you can start with low THC cannabis. Even with the low THC cannabis, you can start with one puff. Okay, give it 10, 15 minutes, see how you feel. If you're okay with it, take another puff give it 10, 15 minutes. That's one of the main points to this medicine is the fact that you can self-medicate. Um, but if you've never had any dealings with cannabis before, you really need to start slow. Now, I just made a video not too long ago, yesterday, is that in fact, about a lady that called me and told me that she had been given cannabis oils and uh, gel caps. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I just, it, it really infuriated me after she told me that they knew, she told them that she had no dealing, she had never had an experience with cannabis before. So, makeup of the people in there as pharmacists. And they were all young 20-somethings. I'd say 24, 25, you know. Uh, there aren't any older people in there. There are older patients. Anyway, that isn't the subject of this talk. This talk is to, to let you know if you've never had any, any experience with cannabis, you need to start slow. Find low THC cannabis, Try that first, a puff at a time, okay? Even if you were to go vaping, okay? Vape is very high potency THC. Vaping is virtually hash oil uh, that you're vaporizing. Okay, so now you can have hash oil of 13, 14% THC cannabis. You can have hash oil that's 27, 28 to 30% THC. So keep an eye on your THC levels, but also keep an eye on your CBD levels because CBD counteracts the effects of THC. The higher the CBD level in a particular strain, the lower, generally, the THC level, or the effects of that THC. Uh, I'm going to make another video on the differences between the sativas and the indicas as well. Uh, because each of them, though there are parts that overlap, there are, there are ailments and, and maladies that overlap that they can both take care of. They generally have a completely different effect on the way you feel and what type of feeling you're looking for. 
Uh, for example, you wouldn't smoke a sativa to go to bed because a sativa will wake you up. It makes you active. I used to call it, I want to go fishing weed, okay, where you just, you take a couple of puffs and you can stand by a lake all day long and just zing, here we go. And, you know, um, it, it helped with my back pain when I did go fishing. I loved a sativa because it made me want to get up and do things besides taking care of my back. Um, now an indica is more of a laid-back, dreamy, um, I might not make it through the movie kind of a appealing. Uh, I, on average, an hour after I smoke a, uh, an indica, I'm hungry. And right after I eat, I'm tired unless I take another puff or two and then I'm awake maybe for another hour. But it's that kind of a thing. You just constantly, it, it constantly wants to put you to sleep. If you have insomnia or if you have muscle pain that doesn't allow you to sleep. There are a lot of ailments for an indica. There are a lot of ailments that sativas take care of. It's a feel. And then there are hybrids. The hybrids, most of the cannabis on the market in the dispensaries is a hybrid of one or the other. Mostly sativa, mostly indica, this kind of thing. Keep an eye on your THC levels. Keep an eye on your CBD levels. The higher the CBD, the less interaction with the THC. The lower the CBD, the higher percent of interaction with the THC. But start slow. Don't let anybody tell you that you need to have oils and, and edibles and gel caps or any of this crap. If you have never dealt with cannabis, if you have never even if you dealt with it and you were 16 and now you're 50, okay, you've never dealt with it. That's just the way it is. Um, so it's not in your system. I'll get into another video on the cannabinoid system and how it works. But for now, start slow. A puff at a time. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, wait, take another putt, okay? And don't smoke it like a cigarette, okay? This is, it's not a, it's an inhale. Uh, you're very short, maybe an inch from the end of the pipe. Watch it, watch it light, and give it a second, and you're done. Put it down and wait 15 minutes. Pick it up. Put it down. Hold it for two, three seconds. You don't have to hold it long. Blow it out and give it 10 to 15 minutes. Judge your pain. Judge your malady, whatever it may be. How bad was it when you started? How bad is it now? Can I handle the head that it gave me? Okay. Can I handle the buzz that it gave me? Well, the pain is diminished some, but not bad or not much. Um, I feel funny, but not bad. Um, take another hit. Okay. Maybe the next one takes care of the pain completely put you right where everything is cool and you don't have to worry about it for an hour and a half, two hours. You might not have to worry about it for longer than that. But if you don't start slow, it'll scare you off. It can very easily scare you off. 
get you way too buzzed. Edibles, edibles can be psychedelic. I'm talking serious psychedelics, just like mushrooms or anything else. All these things are natural. There are over 400 different components in the cannabis plant. So my advice, that's basically it. Just take it easy, one puff at a time. And I hope it helps you. Have a good day.